Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Setuayo, a.k.a. Coach Bird, and I'm the host of the Bird Cage Show. Cousin Tracy? What's up? We are back at it, episode 106. And I'm feeling you know better, people. Oh, yeah, you see, you see, you got the... Got the, the immobilizer red, yeah. over. You know, yeah, I'm just you down, know what I'm to red, down, down to it. You know I, I love Listen, it. Listen, you know what is crazy because thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and telling friends to tell a friend because I had somebody, uh, I kind of had the, the immobilizer off yesterday, and somebody said to me, How are you healing? And I know they had to have seen that I had to cast someone mm-hmm. on the bird case. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. I adore you guys. Um, I may not know each and every one of you guys individually, but just know that I know it's you guys are watching. It's appreciated. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I know y'all like, why Coach Bird over there with the with the guns out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's well, football season. I had, I'm, you know, just like Tracy jumps off of Lear jet, Jets and hops out of surgery and things like that to be here to do this. I just came from practice. football practice. I ain't have a chance to change. So and sun's look, out, look, guns you out. See this light, this dark, this yeah. baseball, this the baseball. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I gotta blend that in. Even, I gotta get that. It'd right. be even by the, and his guns is wet. <laughs> he lost weight, but the guns is. Shit, I'm working. I think my shit I'm working. Might be bigger. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. My bad. My bad. My bad. Is all good. You right. You right. We working. We working. We are working. Well, another special special guest in the cage with us. Couch, yes, yeah. People are not going to recognize this guest. Yeah, true. This guest true. does work and don't like to be seen. He does. For for those that know, know, but I know a lot of you don't, don't know. know. And when we're done, you will, you know. will know. You know what I'm saying? We are bringing him on here to share our platform with him because he does some amazing things for the youth in the city. And, uh, you know, he's always behind the scenes. He doesn't like to come to the forefront. He doesn't like to talk about himself. He's like, listen, let me just do this. Y'all go out there and talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm going to do this. Yes. Work back here. Y'all but, go handle all of that. But, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah. the woman in me, and I know I got women that watch. He may not talk much, but them nails is glistening. <laughs> <laughs> he got that manicure. <laughs> Listen, hey, if I ain't hey, seen nothing hey, on the side hey, of the line, I saw that. I I right, he, hey, hey, he was coming on. He, he, he can't old be, school. Uh, he, he, can't can't be, be, he can't be behind the scenes on the cage. Listen, so he's like, I got to be right. Everything. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I got to be right. You know what I'm yes. saying? So, Keep it, though. <laughs> so if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? This is one of my big bros. You know what I'm saying? Uh, William Wallace. A.K.A. Bill, A.K.A. My Big Bro. Um, I'm just happy. We're happy that you just took some time out to to because I know this is you kind of like Orlando. This is not what they do. Yeah, this you know is, what I'm this saying. This is what they this do. Is, they don't like people <laughs> to know who they are. They work fifty jobs. They help hundred fifty five thousand kids. Exactly. Like, so they just don't so, want people to know. Exactly. So we appreciate you. You know what I mean? Hopping on. So before right. we get started, Bill, just say what's up to the to the people real quick. How's everybody doing? <laughs> and I don't, just want to say thanks for having me on. I'm a big fan. I appreciate uh, it. And and both of these people here, I, I absolutely look up to, and, and for a long time, they are just trailblazers in the community. And you know, countless times you you don't hear about the stuff that they do, but it, we always talking about them behind the scenes. Just like they said, I'm not uh, the talker to the one. <laughs> they might be a little bit more out front, <laughs> Tracy. That's who I call. Just go get him, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I truly appreciate being on. And, um, That's what's up. And and this is really a, a love affair right here. We uh we just go back a long time and True. we trust each other. True, and facts. that's what makes it work. Facts, facts, And facts. thanks for having me on. And definitely, definitely, I, I, definitely. I, I thanks don't for like taking talking. time. Yeah, I know we yeah, don't. We know yeah. you don't like to talk. Yeah. So we're not gonna push too hard. No, I'm ready. Um. Oh, you ready? ready. <laughs> uh oh. See, people yeah. get oh, you ready. Might, yeah. You might, you might ready. don't want to say that to her. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? You might well, not want to tell her. Figure out what's going on then. Yes. So we're gonna start off by you telling us. Exactly who you are. What's the high school you went to? What you do? What you all that? Tell us all that. Where you from? What you all that? Well, most of y'all know my name is Bill Wallace. I grew up in Fairview on Patton Street. Uh, graduated in 1981 from Pensacola High School. I went to Camden High for three years. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. I transferred out the middle of my junior year, and I went to I went to Pensacola High. After high school, I went directly into the Marines. Okay. Okay. From the Marines, I came home and I went directly to work for PSC and G, where I worked for 22 years. Okay. Uh, in 1986, 
is when I took on the, the first coaching job with the Centerville Simbas. Okay. okay. Uh, my passion for coaching came directly from wanting to coach one of my family members, Sidney Goodman. Mm. So he Shout played for the S- mm-hmm. yeah, he played for the Simbas, and his last year he was eligible to play, but he didn't. He went to uh, came to Catholic. Catholic. Mm-hmm. So I had already committed to the Simbas, and that's where I started coaching in 1986 with the big team, Coach Art. Mm. Art Thompson. Shout out and, uh, to rest in peace. And that's Coach where Art. I was at for the next 21 years. Nice. Nice. nice and nice. in 21 years of coaching for the Simbas, I went to 18 championships and won 14 of them. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what us Simbas but did. But you know, and, 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 and the crazy part about <laughs> it is, about if right. y'all haven't seen um, where the root of a lot of these people who live all over the country, mm-hmm. the route to the people that live all over the country started right in Centerville, Centerville, Centerville yes. Simbas. Centerville. And it's crazy. We got, through Centerville Simbas, we have so many pro athletes, mm-hmm. so many collegiate athletes, so many coaches. coaches all over the place. So many, yeah, so it's many, just so yeah. crazy because for, for, for us, and I say us, mm-hmm. the residents of Camden, before the breakout happened, right. everything came Centerville. through Centerville Simbas. The football program mm-hmm. that started in 1969, Everything yep, came still, through still Center, going, yeah, still going. You know Everything saying? came through Centerville Simba. So, um, I'm and I'm a I laugh because I don't dispute sp- this out much. Um, I think it was seventy eight, maybe seventy nine, when they decided to bring on cheerleaders, mm. and I was part of the first group. Cheerleaders of girls, the cheerleaders. We had gold sweatshirts. Was um like blacks. Was my aunt Donna? Running that down? Aunt Donna, my mom, Gussie, okay. Um, okay. Aunt Sandy was there. It was the wives of the coaches. Right. Okay. And they kind of put, they had a couple teams because I know Joyce and them were like the big girls. And they had, they used to do all the fancy stuff. I was like the little <laughs> girl, <laughs> yeah, the little girl squad. And we had like, all we had was gold sweatshirts. They had like some imprint on it that okay. said chilies. We had black, like, not tights. They wasn't right, tights right, at right. the time, but like sweatpants. We used to make our own pom pom. <laughs> so everybody's world started in. Center 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 that's center crazy, center and it's center like, center. like you were saying, like, like it, 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 it touched the people that came through Centerville, like in in any part of like like law enforcement, uh, uh, nurses, doctors, lawyers, like anything you can think of, job wise. A lot of folks had their start. At Centerville, yes. just I branched mean, off in all these fields. Right, you know and it's, it's real crazy, not to just take away from Bill, but I remember telling um, um, a Caucasian officer mm. that I worked with when he was talking about Centerville, and he was talking about the projects at the okay. time. And I said, you know, when I grew up, people that lived in Branch Village were actually hardworking people. Mm-hmm. Branch mm-hmm. Village was originally designed for a lot of the men and families that worked at the shipyard. Mm-hmm. And I said, so... What it is today or what you think it is right. wasn't That's how not it what started. It was, right? yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of the root of our families come from Centerville because they were hardworking yes, black definitely, people. So. Definitely, definitely. And when, when, when we talked about, you know, our relationship a little bit, when you mentioned it, first of all, I when I did my research, had to research some things, you know what I'm saying? I saw that. And I'm like, graduated from Fisalkin. Yeah. Like, what is it? But now that you said it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. okay. But the funny thing is, I guess this is this was meant to be. God didn't allow me to change my clothes because I got my Pinsalkin gear. Yeah. <laughs> where yeah. I throw the football at. But so, your heart and, and your love is where Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We already know that. Say it again. Camden High. Yes, One more time. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Camden High. We, we, we definitely know that. We definitely know <laughs> that. That's, so all that's all of us. You know what I'm saying? That's all of us. It's a different feeling. Yeah. It's just different. You, Absolutely. Ne- ne- you never let it go. Yeah. If you're there one year, you're there three years, two It don't matter. I believe it. It holds a right. Exactly. Exactly. That's definitely what What's up? Now, um, like we said, you do so much. You know what I'm saying? We just had the um, the sweat in, uh, sweat out, sweat in camp um, that your organization that we're going to talk about was a part of. Um, we shot you out every every episode, bowling with a purpose. Yes, yeah. bowling with a purpose. Um, you know that you're doing. I still have up in my closet a, a, a brown, and I think what was because it, it was the Cleveland colors. We're yeah. gonna talk about this guy. I think he might be the only That's real, like right? only real Cleveland yeah. Brown fan that I know personally. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how that happened, but we're gonna find out today how yeah. he became a fan of them. But I still got the wrestling sweatshirt you gave me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so much. Um, different things that you do, and that's I heard so you trying important. to start some stuff. You know we gonna dig into all of that. All of that, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. Let's let's talk about what you do 
right now? What, right. what is your what is your job title right now? My job title is the president of the Kansas City Youth Sports Association. And it started in 2007. That was my last year coaching with the Simbas. And then I branched out to do what we call non-traditional sports. And mm-hmm. the first one we took on was wrestling. Mm-hmm. And we started with eight kids, me and Rashawn Hornsby. And from eight kids, by that was in July, by uh, September, no, by October, we had like 25 kids. The very next year, well, the first year of wrestling, when we were in the wrestling league, our kids were so aggressive, so strong, so smart. The only thing they didn't have was experience. And the other organization said, it's no way this is the first year of wrestling program. Right, right. The kids are so talented. But the experience stopped them from being dominant. Right, got gotcha. you. But from the first year with 25 kids, seven years later, we had over 100 kids. Wow. Uh, we practiced at the OEL on Broadway. And we'll talk about Coach Bird a little bit mm-hmm. later. But Coach Bird allowed me, when I went in there, I said, I'm starting a youth wrestling program and we need somewhere to practice. He opened up his desk, reached in there, and gave me keys. <laughs> said, anytime. Whatever, just let me know when y'all going to be here. And when they're here, you're here. And that's how it went for the next seven years. Wow. And from wrestling, like I said, we wanted to take on other things. So we have on the forefront, we have wrestling, we mm-hmm. have bowling, we have lacrosse getting ready to start. We got uh, volleyball. Um, we're trying to do crew, you know, other surrounding communities have all these sports. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. don't. And volleyball, like when we try and start wrestling, you know, our kids don't do it until they get to the high school level. Right. By then, it's too, too late. late. You're behind the eight ball. You're behind the eight ball. But yeah. also, too, real quick for our viewers, he said non traditional sports. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about that statement. Um, in the urban community, traditional sports are track, football, baseball. A little baseball and, basketball. and ba- definitely basketball. So traditionally in the urban community, whether they're black and brown people, whatever the situation is, mm-hmm. the most sports we we tend to rear our children to are basketball, football, sometimes baseball. Track. And definitely track mm-hmm. because most football players double down for track. Mm-hmm. So in our communities, it's only been four sports that's always been yes. um, the primary sports. Um, I believe what your organization has always tried to do is get our kids acclimated to to all the scholarships we miss, like yes, lacrosse, big. soccer, yep. ba- uh, yep. more honing in on baseball, yep. bowling, volleyball, um, volleyball. Mm-hmm. Sp- um, sports where our kids could be dominant, wrestling, mm-hmm. sports where our kids could be dominant, yes. but we don't start at a younger age and it's hard for our kids to excel right. because they're not, you know, they're kind of not educated on it sooner. Right. Right. You know, our kids don't learn about volleyball. Most kids start volleyball when the basketball coach tell them our basketball season's over. I want right. everybody to show the volleyball. Yeah. Right, 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 yep. right, right, right. Definitely. And parents yeah. need to know, like, those scholarships are just like getting a D1 yeah. scholarship God, in football, God basketball, rest his anything soul. else. Like, God rest his soul. Coach Hanson mm. has always trucked. I love Coach Hanson. Yeah, Coach, Coach Hanson said to me, stop putting that girl, talking about Phoenicia, stop putting that girl in track. Make her play soccer. You know how many black kids, mm. how, how many minority scholarships mm-hmm. um, they miss, that kids miss out on because they can't play soccer? Mm-hmm. So then I believe his daughter has something to do with Romans lacrosse. Okay. Mm-hmm. And my grandbaby is thir- be 13, and then I had the three-year-old. He was like, you got to make one of them play lacrosse. That's why me, you, and Lando talked about lacrosse when, when Brianna was mm-hmm. like nine. Because Coach Hanson was like, my daughter loses four minority scholarships every year because she has no minority that she can give lacrosse to. Mm-hmm. None that she can give lacrosse to. And I think his daughter's at Rowan. Well, we so need he, to touch base with her. Yeah. So they're trying to get young minority girls, black and brown girls, to understand. Um, and when you got speed, you can play yeah. anything. Nah, yeah, sure. That's that's. That's you're a coach, Bill. Of... What you think? <laughs> speed kills. Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. absolutely. Speed yeah. and strength. Yeah, speed and strength. And yeah. we, we buck that, strong from the rim. Yeah, that's more than half yeah. the battle. And, and, <laughs> you know and we're so intelligent. We pick up, up think right. You just got, like you, you said, it's you, the experience. Yeah. You got to be exposed yeah. to it. 
And once you, you know what I mean, and start getting a hang of it. can't lose mentality. Right, So our right. kids, even at the earliest possible age, they go out there and they compete as right. hard as they can. True. So when we incorporate the experience, it's, it's a problem now. Yeah. And we just have to have access to these sports. And what I try and do is in, incorporate the best coaches I can find. Mm-hmm. I don't want somebody that's just a fan of the sport. Right, right, I right. want somebody that actually, actually knows yes. what's going on with these so, non-traditional types It's a classroom. Sports. Yeah. So when you go take them into your classroom, we want them to be taught the earliest possible fundamentals mm-hmm. leading up to being just dominant at the sport. So the, that educational component along with the sports is what we also want to say is important. You know, the the day of just being a dominant athlete is right. over. Right, 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 right. True. 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 And we promote that and we try and have guest speakers that talk about everything, not just I played this sport mm-hmm. or that sport. Um, we professional talk about it here stuff. at the yeah. Yeah. Yes, we do. Student yes, we do. comes before Students. athlete. It's called a student <laughs> athlete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just was telling somebody today, um, they was talking about my granddaughter and how they, they see her and they, they think that she's going to probably excel a little bit further than me in basketball. And I said, you know, I was trying to steer her towards softball, but it's neither here nor there. But my thing is for me, I want it to be an avenue for education. Mm-hmm. Like I want... Whatever she does, right. I just want to utilize it for education. Like I'm not, I don't want her to ever say, "Oh, my goal is to be a WNBA player." Mm-hmm. That, no, 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 no. Your goal is to be a sports agent or possibly a lawyer. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. We want to use basketball to get and there. hold on to it as long as we can right. to get all of them places for free. Mm-hmm. Travel around the world, get to meet people, greet people, all of that stuff right. um, for free. And that, and that's my thing. Um, sports. You got to be a student first. True. You got to be a student to learn the game. True. Got to be a student in life. True. Got to be a student in the classroom. Yes. True indeed. And then you're going to be athletic as I don't know what. That's very true. And I also coached football for Camden High for six years. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2010, Tracy, I don't think you you might not remember that I I had a, a freshman orientation. And we had probably 60 freshmen and parents. Mm hmm. Tracy was one of my first guest speakers. Uh, yeah, I do remember. She was still on I the talked police. about yes. I talked about clearing house. Yep. Oh. I talked about what happens when the ball stops. Mm. I talked about parents stop using their child as a paycheck because every the, we're going to put yep. up the stats again on how many kids actually make yeah. it to the yeah. NFL and uh, NBA. True, true, so true, true, uh, true. we, you know, honey, I talked true. about that. True. I talked about that's what we thought we See, were going to be, and that's uh, mm-hmm. those those couple points you just said. We've talked about them a lot. A lot. Bit, so you was already preparing to be on the yeah. Burkay show. Right. You just didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, Bill wanted it. Bill he was like, and know. then Bill also wanted me to talk about how many athletes go away and end up home, and I ended up arresting. Mm. Like he wanted to talk about right, that right. aspect too of when people got this 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 gander in their head about right. I'm going to be the next best thing, and when the next best thing don't happen, and they're not mentally prepared to live mm, life, they point. end up in the, in the street. Coming back in trouble. Yeah, right. in trouble. Yeah. So yes. That's a good and point. I think, such you know, and Tracy also, by being coaches, you have to coach your coaches before you allow them to coach their parents. True. And you have to coach your coaches before you allow them to coach the players. True. So with that being said, we have to educate parents also. Right. Right. And Absolutely. So big part. Big part. And one of the, the main things that we do is we stress multiple sports. Mm. Don't say you're an athlete if you only play one, one sport. sport. Right, 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 you know, we came up playing everything, everything. and yeah. anything. Yeah. From kickball to yeah, dodgeball. Right. Listen, <laughs> me and everything. Sex come to bowling with purpose that we compete neither one of us right. can bowl. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> we, neither yeah. one of us. We go we hard. Barely, we barely crack <laughs> over 100. Yeah, we go and hard. And we go hard. Yes. We take pictures and stuff. We be like, yo, I beat you today. We sit there <laughs> sweating one, one Listen, Sunday. Oh, like. you got 110. <laughs> oh, I, I won. Yes. Listen, I won. Ain't none of us never crack nothing, but we compete. But we go hard. Because you know I'm an athlete. Hard. That's it. I'm gonna get this. Athlete. So we I showed the all. tennis. Little girls be. I showed the tennis. <laughs> little girls be get the ball. Be coming up and she pop pop. I'm like, oh no, I gotta get. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> yeah, Let I'm me get, get light on my feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me get this. You know what I'm saying? Also, real fast. <laughs> like everything I do is with a purpose. Mm. So when we started, you know, my purpose for for doing this was to give back to the communities to be involved with the with the youth of Camden and surrounding areas. Gotcha. Because we're not only here for Camden kids, we're here for all kids. And also the purpose behind it was to be 
a pillar in the community and somebody that everybody can look up to gotcha. and everybody want to say he he's making an effort he's right. trying he's uh surrounding himself with the right people w- w- at that time would be the the older Centerville Simba coaches and they steered us in the right direction mm-hmm. and even though we they allowed us to drift and make mistakes we had that foundation where we always came back and we never wanted to embarrass the name True. so you know that kept us going and I started in 86. I think Lando started in 89. So that connection with us always being connected. Right, 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 right. Is, is something that's been since the 80s. Right, right, right. And, you know, we, we grew up knowing each other, but our, our true foundation and our brotherhood started through the Centerville Simbas. That's what's up. Um, now, are you the um, uh, the founder? As well. yes. I know you said you were the president, but you're the mm-hmm. founder as well. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Now, so what's what made your, you start okay, it? Go ahead, go ahead, what made you start it? What made me start it is... Outside of the non-traditional sports, what made you start it? Well, what happened was my last year with the Simbas, the wrestling program actually started while I was with the Simbas, but they didn't embrace it, and they didn't really... They say we were football only. Okay. So I said, I disagree, and it was like, well you might want to try and do your own thing then. And it was a, it was a confident push, but Coach Roland and Coach Cyrus, they, they just said that, you know, our concentration right now would be on football. So if you wanted to do it, just you may have to branch out to do it. And you so, did exactly that. And that's what I did. Skadoodles. And I, yeah, <laughs> Skadoodles. Yeah. And I knew exactly where to go, Skadoodles. which is to OEO and Coach Bird, uh-huh. and he embraced it. And said, run with it. And, you know, again, it was the beginning, but also it was the motivation to keep it going and gotcha. to think of other things right. that we could do. So if, if we had a prom in 2010, that was the first time I did mm-hmm. the prom. So the second time I did the prom, which was last year, it was a prom with a purpose. Then we had a golfing outing which we're having again this year, October the 17th, it was golfing with a purpose. We're in the planning stages right now to having a cruise on the, on the spirit of Philadelphia, which will be cruising with a purpose. Nice. We're bowling with a purpose. Everything we do is the purpose behind it. And with bowling, one of the reasons why I wanted to do it is because bowling is one of the only sports where everybody can be involved. You don't have to leave nobody home from the oldest to the youngest. (laughs) It's something for everybody to do. And even with, you know, we have cases where uh, parents might only get their kids on the weekend without anything structured Mm. to do. So now you got somewhere to go. And, you know, again, it's a family affair. Right. Now... What else can we do as a family? Because now we're together. Right. So we also want to plan the stages of having a walking club in the city of Camden where we're going to have uh, different sites earmarked for uh, like different parks. And you register to walk, mm-hmm. you document your, your mileage. And at the end of the session, whoever has the most mileage as an individual, as a team, as a, uh, uh, as a club, mm-hmm. we're going to either give them, if, if they're a group, a little bowl, uh, a party, or the individual, we're gonna give them like a gift card. Daylight rocking it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we got a whole little group. We got, yeah, we, we got gonna great. Listen, listen. We go. Daylight slash birdcage. Yeah, you let's go. Listen. You said competition. We in there. We yep. in there. We we go, I'm, I'm you wanna get? I'm gonna. We can definitely make that happen. And, and for my bowling, <laughs> the first eight week session was completed, and then we had to branch out because we knew that the uh, uh, sweat and sweat out football camp mm-hmm. was coming mm-hmm. so now we we getting ready to start it back up okay. and start the second eight week session okay and okay. this will also include the uh first responders we trying to have mm-hmm. a team for just first responders all the emts police mm-hmm. fire uh hospital workers different things where they create their own league okay okay but they bowl under bowling with a purpose gotcha so now our kids have the opportunity to look and see professionals, right, right. all walks of life, all right. different colors, it, it, everything. And now they can aspire to be one of them. And and both of y'all are big with being guest speakers. So when we stand before kids, we know one of them kids is going to gravitate to mm-hmm. us, no mm-hmm. matter what mm-hmm. what you're talking about. What you, uh, it might be what you got on or, right. or so, somebody's going to look up and say, wow. Right, right. And now you got them. And, and that's the thing. And we get one at a time or we get a group of them. And 
you know, our our main focus is to keep kids educated, act being active, mm -hmm. and and being socially active in the community and being just good people all around, no matter what the 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 you know right. it might be certain things that's going on in your community or in your household, but you know you have a chance because of what you've seen when you mm -hmm. deal with the Centerville Centers and Whitman Park and Stanley Park and East Camden mm -hmm. and all these other youth programs is doing great things because it's all volunteer work. Right. But, you know, we try to take it a little bit further. This is my life. This is nothing else I, I want to do. I, I see. I, yeah. <laughs> I see. I'm I hear it. You know what I'm I saying? Feel, I listen. I, I feel see. your passion. I don't, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I feel yes. your passion. Yes. And, and yes. We, we receive it. We understand Definitely. and we respect it. Um, but. I'm going to throw a monkey wrench. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, you said you was. You said you was game. Here we go. <laughs> so. <clears throat> I believe it was two years ago, possibly three. I had put up a post. Um, are we accepting coaches just because on because it's a volunteer basis, or are our coaches being properly trained? I tagged. I didn't tag you, Bill Wiles, but I, I believe I tagged Brad Hawkins, Senior, mm -hmm. Lando Pettigrew. I mm -hmm. might have tagged you. Mm -hmm. I, I tagged mm -hmm. a bunch of coaches because I, as a a woman, as a resident, as a community activist, I go to different practices. And I know that a lot of these men who coach coach our children, they mean well, right? And they volunteer their time. Because without them, we would not have any little league programs. And I understand it and I respect that. They put a lot of time in, I understand, I respect that. But I live across the street from a field where I seen the coaches fight. I seen the coaches' girlfriends pull out guns. I seen I seen the coaches leave trash on the ground. So I always hit us up, and I say us because I'm just as much bare responsibility. Mm -hmm. Are we accepting coaches because we need them, but are, are we really screening our coaches? Well, the way it works is that falls solely on the responsibility of who's ever at the top of that organization. Right. Just like you have a, a registration for a child, mm -hmm. it's also a registration for a coach. And parents, parents have to sign that they're going to uh, act accordingly, do certain things. Uh, but work. what happens if they don't? Like, who's, well, where's the, the accountability again, piece? Again, that goes directly to the head of the organization. Gotcha. So, you know, it, it's no easy way to say it, but... If you but do you see it? Do yeah, you think absolutely. I, do you see it? Do you see? Yeah. Because I know when 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 Coach Big Coach Bird, the real Coach Bird, and Coach Pat and Coach. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I would like the, the original Coach Bird. Oh my bad. <laughs> she said the That's real Coach, Coach Bird. Bird. I'm, oh, I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> the original no, Coach oh, Bird. The original Coach <laughs> Bird. And um, I'll just go back to my Whitman Park days because I did start out <clears> at baseball with. Um, Coach Irving, Coach Knobloch, Coach Lenny Hall, um, of course, Ali Salone in his younger days, when they all was, like, these were men that young men see outside of just coaching and was like, whoa. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? But now we get a bunch of coaches who were all athletes in their own right, but now they, they're, like, some of the young men that I think should be coaching don't feel like it's their... They don't have enough time. Right. But then we have coaches. It just seems like, where'd y'all get him from? Like, who is he? Yeah, like Probably their parents. A lot of times their parents and now their kids is coming through the program, so you want to coach. So, so you get them that way. But, you know, going back to who should be out there, there's no easy way to say it. Uh, when I give you this packet, it's a part in there that if you are a convicted felon, you can't coach. And if you do, it's certain things that you have to do. And it's not that you can't because – you know, they just want to know who's out there and who's right. interacting mm -hmm. with the Redemption. Kids. Mm -hmm. Absolutely redemption. So, you, they, know, you know what I mean? They, yeah, can, they can, should be able to. But yeah, If you did something 20 years ago, you just have to document it and we can fight it. Right. You right. know, you can get waivers. Right. You can get people to speak up on your behalf or certain things right. like that. But, you know, any anything dealing with kids, uh, against kids, like, you know, pedophiles and different mm -hmm. things, yeah. you, you already know that's a right. That's that's a, a right, right, right. right. Have, but uh, I have a question for you. So when you, because you're, you're the, the founder of, Camden City, City Youth Sports Youth Associates. Associates. So my question for you is this. So when you're screening coaches, does that paperwork go to somebody? Yes. It goes to the state yes. or to the, okay. Yes. And when you get it back, 
it doesn't say what that individual might have done. It's just a red flag or a green flag. If it's red, they know what they did. Right. You don't even know. You just present it to them and say, look, until you take care of this, you, can't you won't be, be yeah, allowed to be involved right. with, with right. the children. Mm -hmm. And most people, most individuals, if they know they have an issue, mm -hmm. they just back off. But the ones that really want to be involved, they try to get it steps. taken care of yes. or whatever. Gotcha. And, 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 you know, that don't mean something that you did years ago right, should right. be held against you right, right now. Right. And your, your children is out there and you want to be involved mm -hmm. and you deserve to be involved. I just, I see the likes of you, Bill, and the likes of Lando Pettigrew, who are um, the likes of um, Coach Fussell mm -hmm. as well as Bud Smith, Coach Smith. Mm -hmm. Um, I see you guys, and when y'all in front of the kids and the other coaches, y'all don't like cursing. Y'all don't listen to ratchet music. Y'all try to hold yourself accountable to certain things, and I respect that. And I just wish some of the younger guys that are coming through the systems who are now trying to be these coaches just look up to y'all as OGs and just follow the same suit. You understand what I'm saying? Because you guys follow the suits of the the Coach Pats, the Coach Arts, the the original Coach Berg, um, the Lenny Halls. Y'all followed mm -hmm. that suit. You know, the Coach Irvings. Y'all followed that suit. And I just wish sometimes I'd be seeing the young younger guys out there that I want to be out there mm -hmm. because we all need to pass the torch mm -hmm. and yet the young let the younger right. people be out there and do their thing. But I need them to be more... Held more, more held accountable, held more of an example. More of an example. Like on and off the right. field and, or and, whatever, and, the court, and, whatever. And tell the kids the honest truth. What, what you did wrong academically and personally mm -hmm. that got you back here from college. Right. So they don't do it. Right, right. Like, the, nice. I think the coaching, that's coaching to me. Nice. Yes. Well, the thing is, when we're guest speakers and we have, people in front of our children, be it a parent or somebody that we bring to speak to them, every story is not going to be a good story. Mm -hmm. But every story, you have the ability to learn something so, from right, it. Right. But I think also, too, when we bring people in front of our kids, no disrespect to nobody out there, um, everybody don't need to speak because somebody's story is bullshit. A lot of people start Story, some stories be bullshit. Well, we have they to not, screen that before they, we let right, right, right. anybody go out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? True. They not. Yeah, you listen, don't just bro, put anybody in front right. of your children. You, they not who they say they are. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they fabricate a lot because they don't have the truth in them. Mm -hmm. You got some people that don't got the truth in them. Well, true. it goes back to what you said about doing your homework. Right, right, like right. Before I ask you to speak for my, before my children, I have to know you a little bit mm -hmm. and do some research on you before I allow you to go up there and, and embarrass start just, me right, or right, yourself right, or, right. or yeah, say I remember some things at the, the, you shouldn't say. The day right. that the, the Saturday, uh, sweat in and sweat out, mm -hmm. or maybe Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, um, I told Setch, I said, Bill want me to speak to the kids. I said, I don't think it's the space for me. And Setch was like, what do you mean? I said, I just don't think it's the space for me. So I think I'm going to just back down. I backed down. I didn't speak. Um, my kids was kind of pissed off because they said it's an opportunity, especially because Kurt was there and Daylight has worked diligently with Kurt to get mm -hmm. Kurt where he's at. Um, they said it should have been an opportunity because you could have touched one or two kids. But I looked around. I, I assessed the situation, assessed the people there. And more people need, some people need to be up front to tell who they are and some people need to stay in the back. Just like you stay in the back, but we know who you are. Right. So at that moment, I was like, yeah, nah, I'm good. I'm going to pass on this opportunity because there's another opportunity. Will rise, right. right. So and I just think sometimes in certain environments, the kids can't readily receive what everybody's saying. Mm -hmm. 100 degrees on turf field at the end of a blazing workout mm -hmm. may not be the opportunity for them to receive. What I'm thinking, what I was talking about. So I figured it would be another opportunity, which I know my day will come. But definitely, yes. definitely, yeah. definitely. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about because I know my dad speaks highly of you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You like that's why I call you my big bro because he yeah. speaks he speaks about you like you're a son. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and uh, uh and, and I know he does a lot to you know give you advice and steer you in the right path and help you out. You know what I mean? And, and things of that nature. Um, how did that relationship like that come about? Like, like it, it's so funny. I knew Coach Bird before he knew me. 
Okay. <laughs> and that's because, of, as we know, we all ran around the pink elephant when we were kids. True. <laughs> and Coach Bird, like, I grew up in Fairview, but you always heard that Coach Bird, Coach Pat, <laughs> Coach Bird, Coach. You just always heard those names. And when I seen them out there, it was when they were on a softball team. I think it was three ways in. Or three, yeah, that was up at three ways, ways in. in. Yeah, <laughs> <was> Apollo. <laughs> he had a bunch of different Apollo, ones. Yeah, but yeah, three ways in. I think was the first though. Yeah. And when I seen him, it was like he was glowing. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I, I real own there. superhero, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and he said, "Go over there with the mother kids." <laughs> and, and I just caught me so off guard. But I was like, "Wow, he spoke to me." <laughs> <laughs> he spoke to me. <laughs> and that's where I first met Coach Bird. And then I played football with Fairview. Mm-hmm. But when we played Centerville, it was mainly scrimmages and right, stuff. Right, we right. were in different yeah, leagues. Right, right, right. But Y'all the, uh, what was that, the, the so Wolverines hard. out there? Fairview Wolverines the or something Wolverines. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I tried to work so hard to impress the Centerville coaches because right. they, were, they were the names that I always heard right, of. Right, right. And that's where my interaction with them started. But when we talk about the Wolverines, that's why – the Kansas City Youth Sports Association, mm. our logo is a Wolverine. Ah, okay. Because my okay. background okay. is fair. Oh, right, right, right. The right. Wolverines. Brown and, uh, Cleveland. When, when I played for the Wolverines, <laughs> Cleveland. our coach worked for Rawlings Sporting Goods, and they sponsored us one year. And each week, we were a different team. Okay. And one week, we were the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> and I fell in love with the Cleveland Browns from that point on. The chocolate brown. <laughs> so now Dookie my brown. colors are brown orange and brown. Orange. And oh, my logo is the Wolverine. So it, 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 it goes back to our goes history. Back to that, got you. Your got history. You. Got you. Yes. Got you, got you, got you. Amazing. So now we know. We yeah. just... Because when I first seen the, the signs all around in 2007 for wrestling, I'm like, <laughs> Cleveland Browns, cool. Cleveland Browns, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool. Cleveland Browns. Now, I know, um, you know, like I said, you and my dad just, you know, got a great uh, relationship. And I know um, you've been doing some things with OEO's help a little bit. But I don't know if you can talk about it yet. Yes. But we can talk about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're running for some type of position down it's, there. It's, yeah, it's what's, what's... part of the the OEO executive board. Okay, where you know we'll be, I'll be active in the community. Okay, the Landing Square uh, part of Camden. Okay, and we can go door to door asking people what they need. Is there any way we can help you? Uh, might need a new front door, screen door. Uh, you might have broken glass. Anything that we could do to reach out to the community and let them know that OEO is there to. Uh, can, can you bring that to women part? Doors, screens, windows. Yeah. I've been telling, I need windows. Yeah. I need a grant for windows. And we, we're ground pounders, so when we right. go to these communities, and and one of the people that I board on to help me is Kevin Jenkins, because ah, he's okay. familiar okay. with that area. Right, right, right. So true. with him and me being team Lord together, Jesus. yeah, we're gonna tear it yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we really we looking forward to it, and um, that's. What Thank you again, for making him busy. Yeah, him busy. And, and he's excited. <laughs> and, you know, again, going back to Coach Bird, Coach Bird, as you know, when he sits you down and explains stuff to you, he goes so in depth mm-hmm. and he, mm-hmm. he almost makes you feel like nothing is impossible. Right, definitely. So, you know, when he came to me and they brought it to my attention that they wanted me to be on the board, it was like, how can I say no? Right, right, right. Especially because they gave the keys and opened the doors for wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know how that goes. Yeah. 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 So, so now you can't say no. Right, right. And, All right, so you know, just keep me in mind when the windows come up. And, it's, and, it's, and not only that type of stuff, but just getting out and talking to the people in the community. Right, right. Just let them, let them know. We got some yeah. services for yeah. you and things like that. That's I what's just up. need windows. What's up? <laughs> so yeah, so we're not window. only trying to touch the youth, but we're also trying to interact right. with right. the, the people. adults in the community. Awesome. Now where where did that where did where did that passion? Because as you just just you know you sitting here talking, you know I can I know I can feel the energy. You know what I'm saying? Just this passion with with what you know your purpose is and what you're trying to do. Like where did that come from? Like where I do you think like where did up, that start? When I was younger, a young adult, my my motto was I can't be stopped and I won't be denied. Mm. And as we went forward and I started being involved with youth activities and different things, it changed to instead of I, we can't be stopped and we won't gotcha. be denied. Gotcha. So the only person that can really stop 
me or us is us. And you, the, the simple way was, you to beat me, you gotta beat me. Right, 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 I'm not right. I'm gonna right. beat myself. <laughs> right, you know, right. you gotta beat me, right. and you're gonna know exactly where you was at right. when you engage with us, no matter what it is. Right. And that's why we always try and get the best of the best when it comes to coaches. Mm -hmm. We won't start a program unless we have somebody that's just, you know, very intelligent in mm -hmm. that sport mm -hmm. and and very in in a position to lend assistance, not only. With, within that sport, but also within our community. So you have to buy into everything before we allow you to be a part of Kansas City Youth Sports Association. And that's what we was going to ask. How can you get people, how can people get involved with Kansas City Youth Well, it's, it's very easy. It's, most of the time it's just through word of mouth. And a lot of times when they hear, I heard you was going to do a walking club or, or, or a, a swim club or mm -hmm. whatever it might mm -hmm. be that we're do doing, I want to be a part of it. And you know, it, it's funny. A lot of people is just sitting and waiting for opportunities mm -hmm. to be involved in stuff like right, that. Right, Because they not they the football is being done, the baseball, mm -hmm. the basketball, the track is already being done. We don't touch them sports. Right. So when you start talking about other sports, this might be a sport that somebody grew up in and they want to live the sisters. Right, right. So most of the time, they won't be a black and brown. Mm -hmm. they, they they might be white, mm -hmm. but their their passion for the sport is something that we need. Their education for the sport mm -hmm. is something that we want to give. Right. So you know we don't block anybody, but again it goes back to that screening part of mm -hmm. you know who you let in right. and who you exclude. But uh, being a part of uh, the Coach Bird family because he's been a father figure to me from day one, and you know. He also bring you in his office and say, shut the door. Yes. And when that happens, <laughs> you know. That happens to you such know. all the yes. time. Yes. A lot. When you have to say the all the time. The always shut. Yeah. <laughs> when you have to say all the time. Yeah, so Probably was shut last week. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And you know how that goes. Definitely. Definitely, and, definitely. And then it's the thing where. Definitely. <laughs> we don't want to let anybody down. Right. You know, we, we want, when we stand in front of our kids, you know, I tell Lando all the time, one of the things that I say all the time is stand up straight. Mm -hmm. Look at me when I'm talking right, to you. Right, right. Don't suck your teeth. Don't roll your eyes. Men do certain things, mm -hmm. and, and that's not one of them. And, you know, we just want to be, when you look at us, you say, okay, that's the proper way to right, do it. Right. Now you have somewhere to start. Right. And even what you might see in, in the community, you know, sagging pants and different things of that nature, you know, that's society today. Right, right, right. But they, you still have responsibilities as a young Accountability, man like you said forward. earlier. Accountability. And we try and hold you accountable for that. Yeah, and accountability yeah. is something that's also big. And you, you never want to, even though I'm in, a, in behind the scenes a lot, you know I'm out there. Right. And you, you know if you see me, I'm attempting to do something positive definitely and you know i have a people rally around me and when i say i'm doing something they 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 step up to the plate that's how you be dragging us in it i just <laughs> want to keep it one <laughs> so we know problem. bill is a good person and then he be like yo i need you whatever bill here <laughs> i need you to show that well i'm there bill we, I'm, like, I'm getting out on sunday morning i'm bowling we, we there we there, we we there. there. Facts, facts, tracy, facts, tracy's facts. actually when we have our prom in april tracy's going to be one of the master ceremonies she volunteered okay. for every, it too. Okay. every okay. week this position about this prom done changed <laughs> First, it was the committee. Never, you know what? You gotta do a little bit of everything. Yeah, you got it all. You got all those skills. And you know I'm a little saying? good while I'm doing you got, it. There you go. That's, that's the that's the most important part. <laughs> I just gotta make sure I got the right comfortable and shoes. I, and real fast, I just want to say that you know, I know you brought me on here to talk about me, but both of y'all are out there and never say no. Y'all always somebody that we can look to and, and know that the job is being done and it's being done at a high level and that's because of who we are and where we started mm -hmm. and even that. though we might have grew up in different parts of the city we we connected True. through the Simbas, mm -hmm. through the our parents being who they were mm -hmm. and teaching us the different things that you know we want to pass on to our children and to the youth and you know it, it's just about sharing and you know being being a black man that can go in so many different mm -hmm. areas but the one thing for sure is when you see us, that's what you see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we want to promote that 
you know, also too, True. especially even to the young ladies in the community. I was getting ready to say mm-hmm. because being a black woman ain't for the weak. Mm-hmm. Let's be clear. Because we have stigmas of being baby moms. We have stigmas of being um, lazy. We have, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I step in front of the room um, of young men and young women, I want them to see the possibilities of all they can be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of Definitely. all of it. You don't have to be someone's baby mom. You can be the police officer. You can be the educator. You can mm-hmm. start the nonprofit. You can be the athlete. Mm-hmm. You can be the coach. You can be the mom. You can be the grandma. You can be the lady next door. You can be, you understand what I'm saying? You can mm-hmm. be the trailblazer. So, you know, you're right. We want to stand up straight in front of these kids, right? Uh-huh. So, and I think it, you, I think it goes back to, and you said it, we always say it on, on where we come from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. The likes that of the foundation. Coach Burrs, the mm-hmm. Lenny Halls, yep. the Coach Pats, the Coach you know, Marys, and Coach you know, Marys, absolutely and Coach Demary, president of Camden County College. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Camden Campus, Dean, mm-hmm. a Camden Campus. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we seen these people, and we knew that was our tangible success. True, all of that was obtainable for us. And yep. I just want, and I know a lot of times when I step in front of young people, just like you guys do. Even though I'm always a woman of a lot of words, um, <laughs> <laughs> I want the young people to see that we right here is what success looks like. Mm-hmm. You know, people who have careers that that give you checks and proceeds to the Lord call you home mm-hmm. after giving up a few years of your life. Um, coaches, uh, matriarchs, uh, patriarchs, uh, people who've set some standards, people that have paved some ways, people that have opened doors mm-hmm. for other people to become fabulous coaches on collegiate levels, high school levels. You know what I mean? We just want the kids to see us stand up straight and see the possibilities. So right now, before we uh, wrap all of this up, I just need to tell you, Mr. Wallace, (laughs) we love you. Definitely. We always here for you. Definitely. We support your cause. We support everything you do. I know I'm a coach's coach. I can coach a lot of things. But I ain't doing lacrosse. <laughs> I'm still, I still want to learn it. <laughs> nah, definitely. And uh, I don't think my breaststroke is all that to be a swim instructor. <laughs> so we might need to go get the other folks. Yeah, we will. For field hockey, swimming, lacrosse. We got, we got to get the other folks. We got to get the other folks. No volleyball. Bowling. 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 Well, we got some bowlers yeah. out there, but I'm just saying. Nah, yeah, I, I, just to piggyback off of what she was just saying, big bro, you know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate you you know what i'm saying um you know we talk you know what i'm saying i because i know when bill calls i, I need to answer I'm that there. you know what i'm saying yeah. i know when he's like you big i mean your he, little you bro come he, on through but, but i read that I, like, I gotta respect bill because bill's my old head we grew up on Patton street together and he i'm from centerville fairview type i got a whole situation but anyway <laughs> so he calls me and be like let me ask you a question yes let me get your opinion day or mm-hmm. night and i'm like my opinion. Because sometimes I can be a little hot head. Because like, no. I know you look at stuff from the outside and you always Facts. critique. And you be like, I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. Facts. Give me two days to give you that answer. I'll call you right back. <laughs> and I called both of y'all after yeah. sweating and sweat out. Yeah. I always thought to both of y'all. I was mm-hmm. like, you know, mm-hmm. what Definitely. can we do to make it better? Mm-hmm. What did you see? What can we exclude? What can we add? Mm-hmm. You know, because even though it was my idea, you know, I want to surround myself with right. the right people right, right. to keep this thing going. Right. And, and, and that makes you, that makes you your best. Time. Yeah, yeah, that definitely. makes you who definitely. you are. You yeah. have to surround yourself with strong people mm-hmm. or powerful people or definitely. people that's going to uplift you right. and make you stand up straight. Yeah, and people that, like you said earlier, people you can trust. Yeah, <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? And, and that part is like, People you can trust. Like we incorporated uh, Silouan. Mm-hmm. I was just going to ask you about that because we had her on last episode yeah. and she spoke yeah. highly of you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, she spoke and, highly and, of you. And uh, although they're Serena. based out of Philadelphia, you know, that footprint in Camden is needed. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's going to grow. And, and you know, it should be something that we talk about. Like like daylight is picking up steam. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, Silouam also is a different direction, but it's also something that we need to talk about mm-hmm. in our community. Definitely. So, again, as Kansas City youth, we try and add as many different positive things as we can, along with the uh, shop rights and mm-hmm. Deets and Watson mm-hmm. and, and any other thing like Edna sponsors. was yeah. part of that. Yeah. Yeah. Edna's yeah. big, yeah. And, yeah. and when you talk about insurance, it, it really don't get much bigger. Right. So, and you know, just to have them at the ready. Right. Right. You know, and with the things that they can add, mm-hmm. that you know, 
most of the time our community doesn't get. Right. right. So we just want to continue to add not only from sports, but uh, everything we can to educate our kids and our parents. And again, you know, he never said no to me about anything, mm -hmm. both of y'all, and, and I can't say thank you enough. Mm, and this is truly an honor to be on here. And, you know, I've been looking forward to it. Man. Nah, it's, so like, like you know how it is the first day of hitting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, right, you like, looking forward to it. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. So, <laughs> but, you know, That's he's doing up. great things. Nah, both we appreciate so, it. So what's your future plans, Mr. Wallace? Well, we have a, a golf outing coming up October the 17th okay. mm -hmm. in Blackwood at uh, Valley Brook Golf. It's the second one. And again, it was golfing with a purpose. So okay. we'll have a golf outing and then we'll have a little lunch or breakfast afterwards. Okay. Yeah, a little party type atmosphere. Right, right, so right, right, right. We're going to do I'll that. I'll be for there for that. <laughs> right. I think last time you had to golf outing, I might have been out of town. But yeah. I'll be there yeah, for yeah, that. Because the golfing, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Right. <laughs> so, you know, we got that off the ground. We, mm -hmm. we getting ready to start wrestling and bowling again. Okay. So we got the, the sports part of it that's coming up. But we 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 uh got to wait for some people to finish other commitments mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. before we can. So right. when are you looking to have the the adult prom again? It's going to be in April. We're we're going to do probably in November the, our cruise, okay. where it's cruising with a purpose for okay. Spirit and, of Philadelphia, right? Yep. Okay. okay. And then we'll go right into our prom again in April. So nice. just know everything. If it won't be posted on at the end of this episode, but we'll every be blasting, episode we'll be we'll shouting be, out. Yeah, yeah we'll we be always. posting. When, as the flyers come out, we post to yeah. let everybody know. And, and real Definitely. fast, uh, before we end, I want to talk about the prom. Mm -hmm. The prom, the award that's given out at the prom is the Arnold Bird Humanitarian Sports Medal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's because of who Coach Bird was to me. And when I had the opportunity to create an award, it it just came right to me. Yeah, I remember we talked about that. Yeah, you called me up. Uh, yeah, this is the thing where yeah. I reached out to you and said, "Look, mm -hmm. this is what I'm trying to do. This is uh, I want to name this award after your dad." Mm -hmm. And you know, we honored some real good people last year. Every year, we'll pick a group of people that's worthy of that title of the Arnold Burr Humanitarian Sports Medal. So, with that being said, you know. Our prom was a success. Mm -hmm. um, everything we try and roll out, we take our time and make sure that, you know, we include the the, the right people and at the right time. Mm -hmm. So, and I think that's really important. But, uh, again, uh, this platform is going to do wonders for what we're trying to do on my side with the Camden City Youth Sports Association. Uh, and the city of Camden, it. I can't thank you enough for everything that you do to help and, and all my supporters you know, I'm leaving people out. I'm not really, that's why I don't like talking. <laughs> eventually I'm going to leave somebody out. But yeah, you know who you are and what you right, do. Right. And thank you for the motivation and pushing me and, and the support that's always given. That's thank what's you. up. That's what's up. Well, but bro, I definitely appreciate you for, for sliding through. Like we said, we know this is not what you like to do, but. You know, you you, you, tr you trusted us yes. <laughs> and you're still alive. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, Everything's yes, good. You know what yes. I'm saying? But nah, we definitely appreciate it. Um, real quick, um, if somebody wants to get out um, Camden City uh, uh, Youth Sports Association you, website or we just got, hit you got, up? or Yeah, we got everything. But uh, you just contact me at Bill Wallace, uh, Wallace Simplify. I'll give it to you. Okay. You can put it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my name, phone number, and everything like that. Okay. And then we'll give you everything else that you need. Okay. Okay. And, you know, okay. It, again, it's a nonprofit, so we always need help with different things. Mm -hmm. and, and also, we're having on a August 26th, we're taking a group of kids to the Poconos to the Muhammad Ali Boxing mm -hmm. Museum. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're gonna spend a couple hours out there. Up there, they're gonna learn the history of this is where he trained when he fought. Uh, uh, Joe Frazier, mm -hmm. George Foreman, mm -hmm. all his big fights, this right. is where he went. Ah, and it's right down the road from us. And right, they get right. to experience that and take pictures and okay. different things of that. And Bill Cream, the Jersey Joe Walcott mm -hmm. uh, Association mm -hmm. is the ones that spearheading this. Okay. So, okay. so, you know, we, we try and connect with as many great organizations as we can. Ah, and that's, that's something up. that we have coming up. And, you know, again, that's August the 26th. So any kids that might want to go – contact me mm -hmm. and we, we're taking 35 to 40 kids on a mm -hmm. bus and we're going to go up there have a good time feed them 
and they're going to learn some history about who we are and what we That's do. That's what's up. Once again, parents, you hear this. You know what I'm saying? You hear this, you want to sit around and say there's nothing for the kids to do yep. and things like that. He just told you, and that's an experience that I'm sure a lot of the city kids have not experienced. You that know what I'm hard. saying? And shouts out to uh, shouts out to uh, Vince Cream, Billy Cream. No. Uh, actually, Billy Cream's on our football right. staff. Yeah. He's one of our coaches it's out there. Our Prince Salkin, friends. shouts yep. out to him. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I lost my train of thought that quick. I'm getting old. <laughs> but it'll come back to me. Um, but, again, yeah, thank you, big bro. Um, we definitely appreciate you. Um, I believe Serena's anniversary for was the twenty eighth. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll put that information up about that. So you know, if you can, you can definitely it's a fundraiser that they do. So it'd be nice if you can come on out. I know she said you'll be there, yeah. so we'll yeah. we'll, we'll we'll be in the house as well. Um, we'll have all this information coming out. Like we said, if we don't have the flyers when this airs, don't worry. We'll be talking about it in future episodes. I know for for me, and I'm sure for you too. The prom, we had an amazing time. Uh, last time we were there, you know what I'm saying? It was good. It was fun. You that know was when saying? I had hair. And, and you keep saying that. <laughs> you, got, you, you, you all right, cuz. <laughs> you all right, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and I appreciate you for, for naming that award, um, you know, yeah. after Pops and whatnot. Um, does he, you know, he definitely enjoyed that, put right. a smile on his face. And I definitely enjoy being able to, to be out there and accept that. And, 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 you know, it's a good time right there. Um, Football season, high school wise, is about to kick off. So, shouts out to you know the East Sides and Camden High and Pensalkin and Kip Mastery. and Mastery, all the city schools. You know what I'm saying? I wish everybody out there good luck and good health um, for the season. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just keep molding these young men. You know what I'm saying? Just, yes. just, just, just don't just worry about that athletic ability. Make sure we worry about that mental. Right. You know what I'm saying? Health and, and things outside of the football field. And, 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 you know, just make sure we make these guys to be productive, you know what I'm saying, young men and women for women's Definitely. sports and things like that. Um, I, th- I think that's all I got. Oh, no, no, no. I had my train of thought. I knew I just had to talk a little bit and we'll come back. Uh, Big Bro over here mentioned the 26 that they were taking the kids, you know. Ooh, child. Um, I just just like to say, because I know before Tracy, uh, when it was her birthday, she started like a month out, and I'm a little late. Uh, I aug- did not. August. Uh, you said the whole month was your birthday. I did when you, not. Yes, you did. You I said you said you was accepting. You said you was accepting. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's right, what it was okay, my turn right. to say. Gotcha. The 26 is not only special because of what they're doing with the kids. The 26 is my birthday. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I am accepting gifts, cash apps, <laughs> dinners. Whatever else, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bring it Coach Bird's way. You know what I'm saying? Why well, it don't matter. Let's go. Bring it my way. You know Get what I'm forwards. saying? Bring it on. <laughs> what you got, God? <laughs> so um, I just was recapping in my head um, a post I had put up yesterday. And I just want everybody to know out there that watches us, young men, young women, parents, um, guardians, whomever you may be, you are enough just being you. Um when things seem like it's not going your way, just always remember to just show up as you because you are enough and you unapologetically have been doing well this entire time as you. So just don't never try to be anything other than you and just know those that will be with you are supposed to be and those that don't, it's because God knew that they wasn't supposed to sit at the table with you. So just show up as you. That's why she's the closer. <laughs> so, Big Bro, thanks again, you know what I'm saying, for the lovely Cousin Tracy. Um, episode 106 is in the books. And once again, I am Suchawayo, a.k.a. Coach Bird, and I'm the host of the Bird Cage Show, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Yes, indeedy. It was a stone groove, my man.